हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर मनी श्रेष्ठ वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट हरियाणा स्कूल ऑफ बिजनेस जी जे यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हिसार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक एथिक्स इन परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द डिस्कशन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द कॉन्टेंट्स द डिस्कशन विल स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन followed by understanding ethics then ethics and performance management then guiding principles relevant of ethics in performance management ethical dilemmas at a glance followed by summary by the end of this module students will be able to understand the relevance of ethics in performance management and get familiar with the various ethical issues faced by the employees during implementation of performance management in an organization humans are the integral part of any organization it is the presence of human beings that chalks out a strategy of success for an organization due to globalization of market today's business is becoming more and more competitive every individual in the organization is expected to give their best to improve the overall performance of the organization organizational goals are getting more demanding that pushes an individual to the extreme in order to deliver performance employees have to take certain decisions these decisions are generally influenced from their past experiences in the job and with the society at large individuals have to apply their moral principles on a daily basis that guides their behavior and actions at the workplace as well as other places these moral principles are termed as ethics ethics of an individual works as an invisible hand that guides him in understanding what is correct and what is incorrect these guiding principles help an employee in taking right decisions anything which is done against the acceptable social norms is generally considered as unethical human resources are the key resources for any organization broadly human resources in the organization could be divided into two parts namely employer and employee as far as the application of ethics is concerned it is equal for both the parties an organization cannot sustain for long if any of the party that is employee or employer adopts unethical practices when the individual in the organization understand and imbibe ethics they can do well for the organization in the present competitive scenario external forces also push you to adopt ethical standards an organization performing low on ethical grounds does carry a good image in the market ethics is a process wherein through rational thinking one can choose between the options an individual's ethical standards can change over a period of time as process of ethics provide flexibility and acceptance for modification in the light of new information ethics demand a regular and ongoing realignment of values and behavior to remain ethical it is always beneficial on the part of the organization to set up their ethical standards and conducts ethics are different from legal liabilities under ethics the social norms governs that what are acceptable practices and what to avoid unethical practices are discouraged till the organization makes suitable amendments broadly there are three sources which are contributing towards ethical understanding of an individual first source is the personal one self conscious of a person and the impact of family and friends on his personality formation are the major contribution of the personal ethical foundation the place of work also influences the understanding of an individual about ethics 
employer, immediate supervisor and the people working as co-workers or peer group also shape up the understanding of an individual about the ethics. While working in an organization, an individual has to encounter various situations that demands ethical decision making. At a larger level, ethical understanding of an individual is developed through his interaction with the society and the prevailing laws, religions, regions and respective beliefs. It is a mutual exchange of values between the employees and the organization in a business setting. This mutual exchange is voluntary in nature, although when compared organizations are in stronghold position than the employees. Still, with the support of government intervention, the bargaining power of employees are competitive. Ethics aim to strike a balance between achievement of organizational success and fulfillment of organization's responsibility towards the society at large. Presence of ethical practices in the organization ensures that organization would work towards achievement of its goals but not at the cost of its stakeholders including employees, customers, intermediaries, government, environment and society. Infusion of ethical behavior in the organization is the responsibility of top management of the organization. They have to set the tone of ethical practices that need to be followed further down in the hierarchy. Employee in the organization always observe that how their top management or managers are dealing and doing business. A clear display of ethical behavior by the top management motivates all the employees in the organization to follow the practice. Such practice develops an ethical culture in the organization. If an organization compromises on ethics, then its sustainability comes into question. Unethical practices once identified and highlighted severely damage the image of the organization and attract criticism in both national and international arena. It is also important to convey to the employees about the ethical policy of the organization. This can be done at various stages such as at the time of selection, induction, training and other developmental activities. Depending upon the nature of business, unethical practices could be followed at any level of the organization and at any time of the year. For example, misleading the customers through deceptive promotional campaign, using inferior material during production, making false promises to the customer, etc. could be the unethical practices followed by various functional area people. In present scenario, an unethical practice might give you short term success but in the longer run, it attracts negative word of mouth by the stakeholders. The organizations that adopt ethical way of doing business are highly regarded and preferred for doing business throughout the globe. Making logical and right choice by the employees of an organization initially facilitates connect between individuals and afterwards connect individuals with the society. Overall, Ethics is accepted as a management discipline and it is used to create competitive advantage for an organization and its employees. The impact of understanding of ethics in the field of performance management cannot be ignored. Present day organizations are affecting the society through the way of doing business and vice versa. With the ever increased awareness level of customers, organizations are under continuous scrutiny as far as their business practices are concerned. Any wrong decision would amount to loss of confidence and image. It takes many years and huge investment in terms of resources to come out of such kind of a situation. 
as the organizations are pushing hard to improve the performance, it is equally important to check that such an improved performance is created through ethical means. Being human, all the employees in the organization are susceptible to the unethical practices for short term gains. These gains could be fame, success or promotion. Also, once fall into the trap of unethical behavior, an employee can go to any extent. Considering the gravity of its impact to the organization, it is pertinent to religiously apply and follow the ethical way while delivering the performance. As every business activity requires human beings, they play a pivotal role in designing the success story of an organization. In order to gain success, many times employees resort to such practices that will fall under unethical category. For example, doing a temporary repair of machinery and saving organizations money might show a good performance in the short run, but later on it results into larger damage to the machinery, image and legal liabilities. Also, Sometimes an employees get involved in fraudulent activities that took years to detect. An atmosphere of unethical behavior increases conflicts and attrition rate in the organization. Various unethical behaviors are displayed by the employees in the organization. These behaviors are employees are performing at reduced pace to slow down the further process. It generally happens when employees are not aware about the importance of their work in the overall process of the organization. On unethical grounds, employees deliberately do not finish things on time to affect the performance of others. In order to show that the sales team is doing good and able to meet the targets, employees promise such things to the customers that cannot be fulfilled. It results in dissatisfaction among customers and image loss to the organization. Another unethical behavior is when employees deliberately performing what is bare minimum required. Despite of their potential and available opportunities, employees sometimes lower down their goals to avoid risks. Another practice is to manipulate the budget. Hyped figures are presented in the budget estimation to encounter anticipated cuts. Such a practice devoid the organization from true budget estimation. Another issue related with the budget is to spend the allotted budget on unnecessary items just in order to justify the estimated figures. Another practice is filtering of information. Many times employees do not disclose the complete information to their superiors that eventually results into faulty decision making. Another common practice is to take credit for the work done by others just by using the power related to position and status employees sometimes communicate the good work of others as their own. Such an act spreads frustration among the performing employees. Sometimes a manager makes a mistake and when detected, the blame game starts. The manager tries to blame others for the poor performance instead of accepting his decision making. In general, every organization is having codes of ethics in one form or the other. The more important issue is that the employees are not aware about when to use and how to use them. Whether the organization will perform ethically or not is totally dependent on the ethical behavior displayed by its employees. It is common understanding about the ethical behavior that employees have to make personal sacrifices for the organization and organization has to make sacrifices for the society. 
performance appraisal is an integral part of performance management system. Managers of the organization are having responsibility to appraise the performance of their subordinates correctly. The issue arises when in order to avoid any confrontation with the employee, a manager offers higher rating and only positive feedback. Such a situation is highly dangerous as it affects the job performance of individual at macro level and incompetent people will get promoted to handle challenging roles. So, ethical performance appraisal is required and expected. A fair and honest assessment of the employee is imperative for the success of both the parties that is employees and the organization. Lack of proper skills and distrust in the system are few of the reasons that managers try to avoid actual assessment. Ethics in relation to the performance management needs to be understood in a broader perspective. Role of ethics starts right from the beginning of performance management activity. Ethical understanding is important for the people who are involved in planning activity to set clear performance criteria. After that, each stage of performance management system, role of ethics comes into picture. Clearly, laid down objectives helps in creating objective performance standards that eventually provides a clear basis to assess the performance of an employee. An organization with clear ethical behavior policy is able to attract and retain better talent, generate satisfied customers and deliver focused performance. Performance management system requires high level of commitment from everyone involved in delivering higher standard of performance. Thus, the dependency of the system is on the people. So, the values, behavior and perceptions of the employees are having a major impact on the functioning of the performance management system. Under the ethical performance management, the employee is expected to deliver the expected performance under the boundary set by ethical behavioral practices. These limits set by the principles of transparency, objectivity and fairness. The purpose of ethics for performance management is not only to provide guidance regarding the correct behavior, but also to provide a strong basis for better decision making. As an employee of the organization, a person faces many challenges situation where a clear guideline is required to make a decision. Well laid ethical practices acts as a guiding hand that aims to resolve the dilemma of an employee related to a particular situation. Ethical performance management could be expected by following certain basic principles such as all the employees in the organization must understand and adopt the core values of the organization. All the performance related activities must use core values as a yardstick to make any decision. This principle also stresses upon mutual respect wherein both the parties give due weightage to each other for achievement of organizational goals. An ethical performance management system must promote a culture of fairness and justice. Right from the beginning till the end of the performance management system, transparency has to be established. All the records related to performance of an employee must show the true picture. Consideration of each other's requirements is also an important aspect of this principle. Another principle is assuming ownership. Every employee must consider himself responsible for all the decisions taken by him or on behalf of the organization. Such an affiliation could result into freedom of reporting of any wrongdoing in the organization on ethical front. This principle also ensures 
that reporting of any wrongdoing in the organization do not affect their appraisal. Consideration of the interest of all the stakeholders is the prime objective of ethical performance management system. The activities performed and the decisions taken must not adversely affect any of the stakeholders in any manner. This principle condemns shareholder only approach of doing business. Establishment of ethical culture in the organization is another important principle. At the outset, the organization must take all the stakeholders together in redefining the vision, welfare of employees, customers and society at large. These must be the ingredient for ethical performance management. The organization must encourage its employees to adopt ethical practices. Ethics to an organization is considered as a foundation on which a successful organization can be created. It acts as a control mechanism that keeps a check on the deviant behaviors of the employees. Any deviant behavior could be observed against the core value of the organization. Following are the few points that show the relevance of ethics for an organization. As ethics stresses upon the action based on the core values of the organization, it helps the employees to develop right kind of behavior and enables them to perform in line with the organizational as well as social expectations. Presence of ethics in performance management helps the employee to realign personal values with the value system of the organization. Once it is done, it enables the employee to produce better results. A clear understanding and adoption of ethics in performance management binds the people together and creates high performing teams for the organization. Ethical practices in performance management provide transparency to the system. It helps the employees in getting the true picture of their performance. Ethical practices also increase the acceptability of good as well as negative feedback. As the employees develop confidence in the system, they start working in direction of improvement rather than criticizing. Such a culture of trust and confidence helps the organization to attract and retain talent. Another area where ethics in performance management help the organization is it helps in reducing the legal hassles. Any action taken on ethical grounds provides a strong basis to confront any legal challenge. And finally, ethics in performance management also helps the organization to build a strong image in the mind of its stakeholders. A strong reporting mechanism ensures the reporting of any wrongdoing in the organization. This open dialogue further brings transparency that eventually enhances the image of the organization. As employees are the integral part of performance management system, it is important for them to realign their value system and behavior in such a manner that produces organizationally and socially acceptable performance. All the employees tend to involve in recognized and rewarded behavior. Still, there are many instances where an employee is encountered with a situation of ethical dilemma. Ethical dilemma offers conflicting decision options before the employee. Which one to choose is the question. Following are some of the ethical issues and dilemmas such as when the manager is involved in the unethical practices and asks the subordinates to do the same on a promise of being protected in case of detection, an employee threatened by the position of the manager faces such kind of dilemma. Sometimes employees are involved in activities 
like usage of organizational resources for personal purpose and taking personal advantage of professional contracts and agreements. In such cases, managers try to avoid reporting of such wrongdoing in order to avoid personal conflict with those employees. Carrying on such behavior could prove fatal for the employee, manager and the organization. Dual standard approach of people also creates an ethical dilemma. Many times people in the organization have different standards for self and others. They expect different results from others as compared to them in the similar situation. It happens more at the time of evaluation of performance. People tend to evaluate others idealistically that results in frustration among other employees. Other such situations of ethical dilemma are doing favors for those who are considered as loyalists and close to the management, surrender to do an unethical act under the pressure of peer group, higher aspirations of employees are another reason for adopting unethical practice as they want to grow higher and faster, performing below their competence level just to maintain the bare minimum requirement standards of performance and filtering of valuable information is an another important dimension of workplace politics. In order to avoid unethical practices in the organization, it is important to sensitize employees about the ethical concerns, educate and train them to understand and adopt ethical behavior in their day-to-day -day activities. In the end, we can conclude that ethical performance will be one of the most important and valuable driver for managing and improving an organization performance. To summarize, every individual in the organization is expected to give their best to improve the overall performance of the organization. Organizational goals are getting more demanding that pushes an individual to extreme. In order to deliver performance, employees have to take certain decisions. These decisions are generally influenced from their past experiences in the job and with the society at large. Individuals have to apply their moral principles on a daily basis that guides their behavior and actions at their workplaces as well as other places. These moral principles are termed as ethics. Ethics of an individual works as an invisible hand that guides him in understanding what is correct and what is incorrect. Anything which is done against the acceptable social norms is generally considered as unethical. The purpose of ethics for performance management is not only to provide guidance regarding the correct behavior but also to provide a strong basis for better decision making. With the ever increased awareness level of customers, organizations are under continuous scrutiny as far as their business practices are concerned. Any wrong decision would amount to loss of confidence and image. It takes many years and huge investments in terms of resources to come out from such kind of situation. As the organizations are pushing hard to improve the performance, it is equally important to check that such an improved performance is created through ethical means. Happy learning!